There's an interesting question that Richard Feynman, the Nobel Prize winning physicist, learned about at his MIT fraternity. In a mirror, reflected images are flipped horizontally, left to right, but not vertically, up and down. So how do mirrors know to flip things horizontally, but not vertically? First, we have to understand a few basic qualities of mirrors. Mirrors are able to reflect rays of light because of the reflective material beneath the glass, which is mainly made up of silver. The electrons of the silver atoms absorb light and get excited from the energy, increasing in energy level. They then return to their ground state, re-emitting the light that it had absorbed. Also, this reflected ray of light obeys the law of reflection, which states that the angle at which light hits the surface of a mirror equals the angle of reflection. So, on to the main question. How come mirrors flip images horizontally, but not vertically? Of course, mirrors aren't sentient objects that actually know what to do. Mirrors simply and objectively obey the laws of physics, as any other object would. Surprisingly, images reflected on a mirror aren't actually flipped horizontally. They are flipped in the axis perpendicular to the mirror surface. This can easily be demonstrated with the use of an arrow. When the arrow points to the left, the mirrored arrow also points to the left. The right to the right. Up, up. Down, down. But when the arrow points at the mirror in the northern direction, the mirrored arrow points away from the mirror to the south, and vice versa. Therefore, the arrow is flipped in the z-axis, perpendicular to the mirror. It may be hard to comprehend exactly how images might be reflected in the z-axis, but just imagine a glove being flipped inside out to show its reflected image. Or think of your mirrored image as more of a light print of you, and not the image of you from the mirror's perspective. Let's look into detail as to why this happens. Imagine yourself standing in front of a mirror. Light rays reflect off of you in various ways, with those on the left side staying on the left side, and those on the right side staying on the right. Some of these rays are able to reflect off of the mirror's surface and enter your eyes. Keeping the previously mentioned law of reflection in mind, the way all this light enters your eyes creates a virtual image that looks like this. This is why your reflection is a light print of you. There's a special kind of mirror called a non-reversing mirror, or a true mirror. It is a simple setup composed of two mirrors attached perpendicular to each other. And instead of showing a flipped image, it shows an object as it would be seen in the perspective of the mirror. Instead of looking like this, it would look like this. You would see yourself as others see you, which actually may feel very odd. This happens because what would be the normally reflected image is distorted in a specific way due to the setup of the perpendicular mirrors. It sort of re-reflects the image to show a reflection of the reflection. As a result, you can finally read the letters on your t-shirt the right way, as if you're seeing yourself in someone else's perspective. Now, imagine yourself inside a cube-shaped room with a mirror ceiling, mirror floor, and mirror walls. You would see infinite reflections of you, as your reflected image is reflected, and reflected, and reflected, infinitely. But what happens when you turn the light off? Will the light continue to reflect off of the mirrors and illuminate the room forever? Actually, because mirrors can never be 100% efficient in reflecting light, it absorbs a very small portion of energy. So does that mean that we will see the light slowly dimming? No. Because light is so fast, it would hit the mirror surfaces so many times that all the energy from the light would be absorbed by the mirrors in a fraction of a second, seemingly instant to us. 
please subscribe to Physica for more videos like this on interesting scientific concepts. Music